sensing this in the spirit. Some people have literally felt like there's been a block. Everywhere they go, they step up, they try to do this, or they try to do that, and there's like a block. You just feel a block in your face. Jesus. Right now, I decree, I declare, we proclaim right now that that block is moved. This mountain shall be removed and cast into the sea in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Even as, it's like, even as you've been trying to enter into the presence of God, it's like there's just a shame and a guilt that you feel you can't even enter into the presence of God. Well, I've come to tell you today, right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, that is where you need to be, in the presence of God. When you feel that shame, when you feel that guilt, you cast it down, you cast down those vain imaginations in the name of Jesus. You enter into his presence. You enter into his presence. No matter how much guilt and shame you might feel, because his word declares that we can come boldly before his throne of grace. Yes. Thank you. Boldly before his throne of grace. <laughs> See, when you feel those emotions and you those things begin to run heavy in you, in your mind it comes straight for the enemy. <laughs> straight from the enemy because he tries to keep you stuck in where you are. Like there's no hope. Like there's no way out. But there is a way out. The way, the truth, and the life is Jesus. Jesus, my God. <laughs> it's Jesus. All that we need is Jesus. There's no one else. <laughs> no one else can fulfill us like Jesus can. <laughs> There's no other God, there's no other person that can fill a void in you that you are filling <laughs> with other things. You fill it up with other people, with other time, with other activities. But you will find that you always leave empty. And not only do you sometimes leave empty, but you leave with pieces and parts of yourself being ripped and stripped away. Jesus, my God. But I tell you, bro. <laughs> I tell you right now in the name of Jesus you will be whole you will be full right now in the name of Jesus just proclaim that decree it right now in the name of Jesus you will be whole you will be full speak it out of your mouth speak it right now from the fruit of your lips just cast down what the enemy may be saying in your head say the devil is a liar I know my God I know what he's done for me and what he did before he can do again so you decree and declare right now over yourself speak it over yourself encourage yourself don't let the enemy get in your head and try to tell you lies try to come with his schemes and his wiles you cast it down you don't allow it because you have authority Jesus Christ has given you that authority when he died on that cross when he shed his blood for you it was not just not for no reason it was for you yes you you not just for those folks or for grandmama or for granddaddy it was for you so you claim it right now you speak it right now you speak it into existence you speak those things that be not as though they were in Jesus name in Jesus name receive it in Jesus name in Jesus name oh Jesus oh Jesus I can remember times in in my life where I <laughs> where I would literally sit in the presence of God not not knowing what to say not knowing what to do just feeling overwhelmed with the pressures of life And it was, it was in those moments where I didn't have anything to say, but I just sat in his presence. I got down on my knees before the Lord and I just sat in his presence. And that is where I had that fullness of joy. I didn't know. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't say it at the moment, but I came with so much sorrow, with so much grief in my heart. And I came before the presence of the Lord. 
And he took it all away. He took every bit of it, every bit of it away. When I laid down at his feet, when I wasn't distracted because I was talking so much that I couldn't hear him, but I got down in silence and I let him speak to me. I let him deal with me. That's, that's what I'm sensing in my spirit. Some, some of you just need to get down in his presence and be silent. Weep and moan before the Lord because he knows. He knows what he knows our hearts cry when you don't have the words to say when the trials and tribulations that you have been going through you can't even put it into words but your spirit is moaning and groaning I just I want to encourage you today just lean into his presence lean into Jesus Hallelujah. Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. That you didn't leave us where we were, Lord God. You didn't leave us in our mess. Even the pit that we've dug for ourselves and yes, God. God you didn't leave us there to lay in it oh, shake it. I don't say it. I shake it. God you didn't leave us there to lay in it God you picked us up even when we wanted to do things our own way God and what, what we needed or what should have happened from our actions God you stepped in and turned it all around you didn't let it happen, Lord. I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, God, we were guilty. We deserve to be sentenced to death. But your son stepped in. Your son stepped in and said, I got it. I'll take it. I'll take the lift. <laughs> I'll take the stripes for him. I'll take the wounds. <laughs> the flesh being pulled out of me. <laughs> my flesh being revealed before, <laughs> before my crucifiers. <laughs> My blood running red on the ground as I carried my cross to Calvary. You said I'll do it. You said I'll do it. Jesus, 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 Jesus. We were guilty. We were guilty. Oh Lord, I just thank you right now. That you are the ultimate atonement of our sins, Lord. when we fall short God we know that all fall short of the glory of God but we know when we fall short God when we have those shortcomings we have a place to go God we can come before your presence God boldly and repent God we can repent we can confess God and forsake our sin Oh, Lord, I just thank you for the power that is in the name of Jesus, for the authority and for the dominion that we have when we decree and declare the name of Jesus. <laughs> At that name, every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I said and I seek it and I see that Jesus Christ is Lord, that Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus.
magnify your name you're so worthy of all the adoration of all of our praise of all of our worship you're so deserving of the fruit of our lips Lord you're so worthy you're so worthy you're so worthy personal relationship with God just like with a natural father if a little girl or a little boy if they they're hurting or they need something and they try to run to their father in distress Let us let us run to you, Lord. Let us run to your presence. Let us run to our secret place. And cry out. a covering. You have a place to hide. <laughs> when you lay down at his feet, when you're you're vulnerable before God, there is a covering, there is a protection where he literally wraps his arms around you. He puts up a shield around his feet. can withstand when you feel like there's so many fiery darts and word curses being spoken over you and, then, and it seems as if your enemies have surrounded you I want you to know right now that your God surrounds your enemies Lord, right now, I, I just ask, Lord God, right now, 
for those who might have a veil over their eyes where they can't see. That you would just open the eyes of their understanding, Lord God. Open their spiritual eyes, Lord, even as Elijah had declared for his servant, Lord, when he prayed to you. Open his eyes that he may see that there are more with us than there are with them. Jesus, Jesus. Some of you feel oh, alone. I've been there. You can be in a group full, in a group of people, a room full of people. Yeah, feel like you're all alone. Like you're all by yourself. But you're not alone. You're not alone right now. We come against that spirit of loneliness right now in the name of Jesus. 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 Name of Jesus. Even when it seems like everyone has turned their backs on you. I know of a God that will never leave you nor forsake you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. I know of a God that loves you so recklessly and so relentlessly that he will keep coming after you. He will keep running after you. He will keep running after you. Because he did it for me. He left the 99 for the one. There's been so many times where I would want to come before the presence of God and I felt so unworthy. I felt so unworthy of his presence, of salvation, because of the things that I had done, and there were some times when I let the enemy come into my head, and I let him fill up my head with those lies. And if he's been doing that to you, I want you to declare right now that I am worthy because the son died for me so that I could be worthy. He died so that I could be worthy, so that I could be deserving, so that, <laughs> so that I could be a son, so that I could be a daughter. You're worthy. I don't care what you've done. I don't care what you've been through. I don't care what people say about you. I don't care what the enemy tries to say about you. There's only one opinion that will ever matter. And that's the opinion of your father. He will never change it. Because before you were even conceived in your mother's womb, he already charged you. He already equipped you with what he wanted you to do for his kingdom purpose. There is nothing that you can do to take it away. There is nothing that you can do to change his mind about you. Nothing. There is nothing. kind of love is that? That's, that's a love that a mother couldn't even have. That's a love that your, your natural father couldn't even have. That's a love that, that grandmama couldn't have for you, that granddaddy couldn't have for you. That's a love that only the creator of you 
the creator of the heavens and the earth. That's a love that only he could have for you. to God and he will draw not to you. keep it inside I couldn't keep it inside because I know there's so many lost souls so many people who who don't know who just don't know Once I found it for myself, when I got in the presence of God and I created that relationship with Him, and I let Him pour into me, I let Him fill me up. But first, I had to lay at His feet. I had to lay all of it at His feet. I had to release it all to him release my own will my own plans my own agendas to him i had to lay that guilt lay that shame that worry that doubt that anxiety at his feet whatever it is for you lay it at his feet lay it at his feet this is for but I just keep God I just keep hearing God say tell them what they need is in my presence Jesus that healing that you need that breakthrough that you need that deliverance that you need that fulfillment that you need that miracle that you need to break off in your household the financial breakthrough that you need I hear him saying just you can get it but you have to be in my presence get in his presence that's all he wants that's all he wants just get in his presence he just wants your time and if anybody is worthy presence my soul my heart hurts for you if you don't know God it hurts because 
this what we're experiencing right now is is just a little smidget of what God is able to do through us. And we want you to witness that same the same fire that we feel, the yes. same desire that yes. we feel, the same hunger, the same thirst that we feel, that same chase that yes. we're going after. There's no amount of alcohol that you can drink, mm-hmm. no amount of blunts you can smoke, mm-hmm. no amount of partying that you can do, no amount, no amount of sex that you can have that can give you this. Mm-hmm. But you have to get in his presence. You have to get in his presence. Humble yourselves. Jesus, Come with Jesus, an open Jesus. heart and bow down to the Father, to the King, Jesus, the Lord of Jesus. Lords. He's worthy, he's holy, and he's able. A lot of y'all aren't getting the whatever you need because you're not in his presence and you're expecting God to do godly things but you're not in his presence Mm. your relationship is just a God I need this not a God I thank you Mm. not a God I'm grateful for what you've already given me but it's God I need more so you're wondering why it's not working God, I did this. God, I'm doing that. It's not by your works. It's nothing that you've done, but by his grace. Mm -hmm. And what Jesus did on the cross, that is what gets you blessed. Obedience is what gets you blessed. You can't live life in your will, doing what you want to do, and expect God to bless you magnificently. That's not how it works. So I just want to encourage you to get in his presence. There's something there waiting for you. That thing that you, you're thinking of it right now. Mm-hmm. That thing that you're waiting on is in his presence. And when you get into his presence, decree and declare that it's already done. Mm-hmm. Start thanking him for it. Because it's happening. And you're going to see it immediately. Mm-hmm. But you have to get in his presence. You can't expect it by just living how you want to live and doing what you want to do and making your own decisions. But it's in it's in his presence that you will find what you need. Get in his presence. Jesus. Oh, I sensed in my spirit there's someone who literally has been blind to the fact that whenever they feel sorrow, whenever they feel sadness or depression, to try to lay down with somebody (laughs) and now you just you just do it you don't even get enjoyment out of it anymore but you don't even know what else to do you don't you don't know what to do with yourself and you got in this pattern in this cycle of you're with this this person and you're with this person where you just kind of you're just laying there it it doesn't really even do anything for you it does nothing You're so far in, you're you're so far gone that you just can't stop. 
that it's a part of you. It's something that you have to do. It's controlling you. It's literally controlling you. right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we break this perverted spirit off of your young people in the name of Jesus we break this spirit of lust right now in the name of Jesus it has to loose your people and let them go right now in the name of Jesus we decree and we declare that this will be a nation and a people after your own heart Lord God in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus God, we repent for turning our backs on Jesus, 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 Jesus. God, I pray for those persons who feels like that describes them. God, that you will just engulf them with your love. Overtake them with your love. God, overflow in them with your love right now in this moment God I pray right now that they will just come to you God they will lay it at your feet Lord they, and they will leave it there they will lay it at your feet and they will leave it there God and as they are doing it I thank you that you will fill them up with more of you God with more of your love as they spend time in your presence Lord God, touch them like only you can. Do a greater work in them, Lord, like only you can do. Father, your word says, your word says that you remove their transgressions from them as far as the east is from the west, Lord. So we come right now before your throne asking you to remove it, Lord. Remove it, Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Let them only believe what you say over them, Lord God, and what you speak over them. You call them a chosen people, God, a royal priesthood. God, I pray that they will view themselves through your perspective, God, through your lens. They will see themselves worthy, chosen, valuable, fearfully and wonderfully made. God, I, I oh. Young lady, you are not what they declared over you. You are not what they said about you. Yeah, you might have done those things, but it's all gone now. You have a clean slate right now because Jesus Christ died on the cross for you. You have a clean slate. No matter what reputation you may have had before. No matter what you might have said. No matter how you might have presented yourself before people, there is a new lady. There is a new young lady that God is calling forth out of you. He's calling it forth out of you. If you would just lay it all at his feet, they're going to talk. They're going to say, oh, she hasn't changed. She's the same girl. Oh, she did this and she did that. They're going to talk. Jesus. But you focus. Yes, God. You believe and you yes. declare what God has said over your yes, life. God, in the name of Jesus, God. You are valuable. Yes, God. Yes, Jesus. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. When they said you were Thank you, Jesus. You weren't worth anything. You weren't worth the dirt that was on the bottom of their shoes. That you were like trash to be thrown away. Jesus, my God. 
It was a lie from the enemy. And you do not have to believe it. You do not have to believe it. There is freedom in the cross. Yes. There is breakthrough in the cross. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yes, God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Even when they said you were disqualified. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, God. They said you couldn't do it. They said you didn't have what it takes. God says you're qualified. God says I've equipped you. God says I'm doing a great work in you. I'm changing you. His word will never return unto him void. He will always accomplish that which it is sent to do. Decree the word over your life. Speak it over your life. Even when you don't see it manifesting. You don't see it manifesting. But know that there is a spiritual realm. Where your breakthrough is sitting in the spiritual realm. Where you have the tenacity. Where you have the strength. Where you stay steadfast and immovable to pray it into the natural. Oh, oh I feel that for somebody. Jesus. You've been praying. You've been seeking God and you're asking him, when is it coming? Why hasn't it happened yet? God, give him spiritual eyes to see it done, Lord, in Jesus' name. To see it done in Jesus' name. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Give them the strength to carry on. When they feel like they don't have another prayer in them. Oh God. I pray God that they will build themselves up in their most holy faith. That they will come to you Lord God and pray the perfect prayer. In their heavenly language. God, I thank you that the end of our strength is the beginning of you. The end of our strength is the beginning of yours, God. God, I thank you that your strength is made perfect in our weakness. Lord, I thank you, God, that even as I come and I sit at your feet, I sit at an altar, God, before your presence. And I humble myself before you, Lord. That you give me the power, Lord God. You give us the power to be able to stand before anyone. To stand before anyone. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Some of you have been been wavering in your faith. Just being tossed to and fro at the smallest wave. You can 
can just be tossed and turned and you're here one day, you're believing, you have faith, you're praying, you're standing on the word of God and then the enemy creeps in and just does a little whisper in your ear and you're this way. You're in unbelief, you're in, in doubt. You even question, is there even a God? Does he hear me? Does he hear my prayers? Does he hear my cries in the midnight hour when no one else is there and I don't know who to call on? Does he hear me? Does he even know me? Does he even care about who I am and what I'm going through? let friends you let your peers whisper in your ear and they say hey let's go out let's do this let's go out let's do that and they know you're a Christian they know where you are in your faith but they say it anyway and they're your friends so you you accept their offers and you go out and maybe you don't drink with them but you're there you're in that environment There should be something different on the inside of you. When you when you give your life to Christ, you profess and confess that Jesus Christ is the head of your life. He is the Lord of your life. There should be something different on the inside of you. He should be living and dwelling in the inside of you. You should have your whole being centered around Jesus Christ. There should be something different than when they see you. They say, hey, I want what she's got. I want what he's got. He has the spirit of the Lord inside of him. She is walking with the Lord. I can see the glory of the Lord all over that person. And sometimes they, they won't even know what it is. They'll see you walking down the street or you're, you'll enter into that job interview. And they'll just, they'll see it. They'll see it. They say, there's something different about them. That's what happens when he lives inside of you when he lives inside of you. I'm not talking about he just lives at your church. I'm talking about when he lives on the inside of you, when you are his temple. You don't have to go in the church to find him. You don't have to just listen to a worship song to find him. I'm talking about when he lives inside of you. You take him with you into that classroom. You take him with you wherever you go. He's in the secret place. He's at church with you. He's at your job with you. He's in that restaurant with you. Wherever you go in the marketplace ministry. When he's with you, that's where he's going to use you. As his vessel. As his mouthpiece. <laughs> when you have him on the inside of you. That's where you'll be walking down the street. And you'll see Sally. And he'll say in your spirit, go pray for her. She's battling right now with fornication. She doesn't want it, but she's trapped. She's stuck in that bondage. Go set her free, daughter. Go break those chains off her daughter. Go tell her of who I am and how she doesn't have to live stuck in that sin, stuck in that bondage, stuck in that hurt, stuck in that pain because I died on the cross for her. I died on the cross so she doesn't have to go through she doesn't have to stay stuck in it. You'll be walking through that hospital. Jesus. And 
he'll take you into that hospital room and you'll see that sick person lying in that bed at the point of death Jesus. where the doctors have come to the end of what they can do the nurses they can't do anything there's nothing any human can do but God we know Jesus. <laughs> Lord God we know that when we have your power, God, when we have your Holy Ghost, when we have you living inside of us, Lord God, we can raise the dead, Lord. We can pray over the sick and they shall recover, Lord God. Because your word said he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. And by his stripes, by his stripes we are healed. By his stripes we are healed. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. trying to take their eyes off of you God I decree and declare right now their, their eyes will be focused on you Jesus there will be nothing that anyone can do to distract them from you Lord in Jesus name in Jesus name right now Lord God we break we break those spirits of perversion Lord we break those spirits homosexuality Lord God we break those spirits of alcoholism God we break those spirits off of your young people in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus loose your hold off of God's people in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare right now Lord God that you are raising up young people in this moment God in this hour in this season Lord God you are raising up young people who will stand Lord in your authority that you have given them and take their rightful place Lord <laughs> take their rightful place Lord In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord. I thank you for your remnant, Lord, that you are raising up, Lord. I thank you for your remnant army, Lord, that you are raising up. To take their stand, Lord God. To take ground, Lord God. To seize what's rightfully ours in Jesus' name. God, because we're your sons and we're your daughters, that means we are heirs. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. We are heirs, Lord God. So what's yours is ours. <laughs> what's yours is ours. So Father, right now we decree and we declare that we're taking back what's ours, God. We're taking back our children in the name of Jesus. Satan, you will not have our babies in the name of Jesus. You will not kill our babies while they're still in the womb of their mothers. In the name of Jesus, they will live and not die. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
God, I pray that your church will take a stand for what's right. Thank you, Jesus. That you, your church will stand on your word and stand on your promises. And not sit back and allow things to happen, Lord God. God, I pray right now that nothing will happen in this nation. Nothing will happen in this world. No big plans, no big laws. God, nothing will happen unless your people say it. Unless your people give it permission, Lord. That's the type of authority that the church needs to walk in. That the church yes. needs to claim, Lord God. That we will not allow things to happen. That's what we're doing, Lord. We allow these things to happen. We have the power through Jesus. We have the authority, Lord. Over all these things. So no longer in the name of Jesus are we going to sit back and allow these things to happen. God, awaken your people. Cause them to arise for your purpose, Lord God. Set down all hidden agendas all prideful and vainful agendas God and we raise up your word and what you declare God we will only permit what you permit in Jesus name and we will bind up God what you bind up God, I thank you that we can decree and declare. Jesus. Jesus. God, I just speak right now over this nation that you will pour out a greater measure of your spirit among all flesh. God, send your spirit across this nation. In a mighty and powerful way. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is going to be done in Jesus' name.
and we might not even know it, Lord, but we go a different way than the way we usually go. We take a different route. We take a different route to work or we take a different route home. And there's an accident on the way that we usually go. Oh, Lord, we just thank you. We thank you for those times that you protected us. We thank you for your Holy Spirit that didn't let us go that way. That you stirred up in our soul, God. You stirred up in our spirit that would not let us go that way when we wanted to. We like, I always go this way. I go this same way every single time. But your Holy Spirit kept stirring us up. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. And even though we might have questioned it, your spirit said, don't go that way. And so we did it. And then we might get home and turn on the news. Jesus. And see on that exact highway, Lord God, on I-55, when we come off the ramp and we take that right turn coming off of the ramp, that somebody went that way and lost control and they didn't make it. didn't make it Lord God but we thank you for your grace and mercy Lord God that let, didn't let it be so that you said it wasn't our time yet that you had more things for us to do we thank you Lord we thank you Lord Oh, Jesus, we thank you for those times, Lord God, when we were in places that we should not have been Ooh, doing things that we should not have been doing. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, when you were at that party and you snuck out of your house. Thank you, Jesus. And you knew, you knew good and well you had no business being at that party. Where there was drinking going on and people were doing drugs and having sex and doing all these type of things that you knew you had no business business doing. And a fight broke out. And the next thing you knew, you heard bullets shots. And you heard one fly past your ear. Like it was going to scrape the side of your ear. And so you take off running and you get to your car and you're going home and you're crying and you're, you're scared. All of these different things are going on in your head and you get home and you get back in your room. And you're weeping before God because you knew. You knew you had no business being there. But all you can do is cry. All you can do is cry out to God. You, you're trying to praise Him and thank Him, but you, all you can do is cry out because you know how good He's been to you. You know how good He's been to you. You know that if it had been a centimeter closer, then it would have been you. It would have went through your your temple. You know it. And it was only by God's grace and mercy that he stopped it from that one centimeter. He didn't let it go a centimeter further. And some of you may have experienced some things like this. And just thought, oh, I got lucky that time. Mm. Oh, my God. I got lucky that time. I want you to know right now, no, you did not just get lucky. That was God's grace and mercy That's watching God. out for you. That was him protecting you. That was God saying, it's not her time. It's not his time. Yeah, they were doing something they should not have been doing. 
They were in a place that they should not have been, but I've got them covered. I won't let it be so. I won't let death be their portion. I don't say I don't say I don't say Lord, I thank you right now, Father, for those times where I didn't even see danger on my path. And you shielded me from it before I could even see the outcome of what it could have been or what it should have been, Lord God. You redirected my path. You changed my course, Lord God. I didn't say it on shag and say that I said. You turned it all around, Lord. And I didn't even know it. I didn't even see it. And I thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I just thank you so much for being a keeper. Thank you, Lord, for being a keeper, Lord. God, when we let ourselves go, we distance ourselves from you. We get out of your presence, out of your word for whatever reason. God, you're still a keeper. You are still a keeper. Thank you for keeping me, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. pray for your young people who can't seem to find their identity, God. The ones that are feeling worthless, God. The ones that are feeling like they don't belong. God, I pray that they begin to find their identity and their worth in you, Jesus. That they're worthy of love, God. God, this generation needs you, God. There's nobody else who can do it but you, God. They need you, God. Those battling with insecurities, God, and low self-esteem, God. I pray that no thought of suicide comes to their mind, God. Jesus, Jesus. I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus, God. In the name of Jesus. That their minds are covered, God. That you give them a mind of peace. Yes. A sound mind, God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. God, I pray that they just know that they have purpose, God. Even if they can't see it, God, I pray that they know it, God. I pray that they trust it. God, I pray that they know that there's a gift in them, God. Yes, Jesus. And they're not just here to take up space, God. But there is something on the inside of them, God, that will be used to glorify you, God, and glorify your kingdom, God. Thank you, Jesus. Comfort your young people, God. Yes, Lord. Those who are going through silent battles that nobody knows Mm. about, God. Jesus. Mend their broken hearts, God. Jesus. Deliver their minds, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God, 
but keep them covered, God. God, and if they don't know you yet, God, I pray that you just continue showing your mercy over their life, God. Give them more time, Father God. God, I pray that they'll come to know you, God, for who you truly are. God, I pray that their faith won't be based off of what their parents know, mm. what their grandparents know, God, but what they know, God. Yes, yes. God, I pray that they start seeing your hand in everything, mm. God. That they have no other choice but to give you glory, God. And everybody that they come across, everything that they touch will be successful in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for it. We thank you for what you're going to do, God. Take away the spirit of perversion, God. The desire to want to go against you, go against the grain, God. Jesus, Jesus. Take it away, God. Anything that's not like you, God. Anything that they try to do that's not in your will, God, block it. Surround them with your love, God. Yes. Hold them extra tight when it's at nighttime and they feel like they have no one, God. And the only thing that they're thinking of is how life would be, how other people's lives would be if they weren't in them. Jesus. God, right now, in the name of Jesus, we break off every thought, God, of suicide. It can't happen, God. Jesus. The world needs your young people, Father God. Move in their hearts right now, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, you're raising up kings and queens. everything that has been declared, everything that has been prayed. We plead the blood of Jesus over it in Jesus' name. We seal it with the blood. In the name of Jesus. I pray that everything that has been declared, everything that has been spoken will not return void, Lord God. I thank you that it will not be irreversible. the power the prayer of agreement yes, God. God, we know that there is power in the prayer of agreement yes, Jesus. and we declare right now in the name of Jesus that it is so yes, God, in Jesus name. it is so yes, God. it is so in Jesus name, Jesus name. it is in Jesus name we pray in Jesus, in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name, in Jesus name. Thank you, Lord. We give you yes, glory. Yes, God. We honor you, God. And honor, Lord. Jesus. I thank you that lives will be touched, God. Jesus, yes, God. Souls will be saved. Yes. And disciples will be made, yes, Lord, in Jesus. Jesus' name. I thank you for the transformation and the change that is being brought forth, God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I thank you for the salvation, for the deliverance that is coming. Yes. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, God. Yes. We give you all the glory and all the honor, God. Yes, God. Because you're worthy, God. All glory and all honor goes to you, King. 
because you deserve it. You deserve it. We thank you. We praise you. For what you have done, Lord, in Jesus' name. And what you are continuing to do. Nevertheless, not our will be done, but your will be done. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.